everyone, Amir here and in this video we are going to continue to build our Google Sheet uh, for the AnyPoint platform APIs and try to extract additional data in different other sheets. So the areas we are going to look into this video are the environments, how you can uh, make use of the environments using the Postman collection pack and also how you can extract information from the Design Center projects into Google Sheets. So let's take a look how this is done. So first of all what we will be looking at is these projects you will find in the AnyPoint platform. Uh, in the Design Center projects we will try to export uh, these projects into our Google Sheet but before we can do this uh, we need to create a new sheet where we are going to read the environments. Let's go into the Postman collection pack and see what is the data we are going to read. So first of all again we need to authenticate. Make sure you have entered in the environments the username and password. Um, login against your AnyPoint platform you will receive the token. Make sure to get your profile information because this will update the parameter organization ID in your environment. You don't need to take care and retrieve the organization ID and uh, copy it paste uh, to the uh, request you are um, firing. So once you have done it, you should be set in order to read the environments. And the environments you can find in the design center um, under environments get all environments. You can see here we are using the URL, we are using the the organization ID as well as the token we have. So these are the three uh, main parameters we are going to use here. And when I use now the environments you can see it brings back here a couple of information. So what we can agree on is that we are going to read the name. The ID is important because this is something we are going to use in order to retrieve additional information from Design Center, from Runtime Manager, API Manager and so on based on the environment its ID. Uh, so this is something we are going to look into as well as we can also uh, get nested information extracted. Here you can see we have subscription uh, and then we have category, trial, and the type is trial and also the expiration date. So this one is uh, expired. Anyway, so we are going to read the name uh, of this uh, environment, the ID. Maybe we can get also these three parameters um, in order to show you how it is done. And then you have here also other additional environment information. Uh, if it's a sandbox environment or uh, design environment, this is also something you can read out of it. And so let's see how this is done. So we go back into the Google Sheet itself. Now we add a new sheet which is called environments. And in environments we will have the first parameters ID, we have the name, let's see we have subscription, type. And what else did we have here? We had a category. So here this is a subscription category. Expiration I don't need for now. Uh, we would have also the different environments. So environment uh, by name and ID. Uh, so we have here let's say environment ID, environment name and that would be it. And as we are going to have here multiple environments, what I can suggest is we enter in the Google Sheet a new column to the right, uh, to the left, which contains just an index, yeah, starting with zero, I guess. And then we have one, two, three, four. And we will make sure that we make it more dynamic. So all the data we are reading out here are more dynamic. So we are able to see what is behind those parameters and values. Okay, so now let's start getting the ID first. So here we are going to again use the fetch token 
method. It's not the fetch token method, it's the fetch JSON method where we are accepting the URL, the token itself, which is generated, and the path of the data we want to extract. So we have in our credentials, we have it already. So we can see there is a token. Um, and I need to read it out here. So first of all, let's say we say fetch JSON. Then we provide the URL, which is basically in credentials A2. And beside this, this is a base URL. We need to provide a real URL. We will get this from the Postman collection pack. Here you can see design center. And within the URL, you can see we have another parameter, which is the organization ID. So this is something we cannot use like this. So we have to anyway concatenate here. And now what we need to do is we need to fill in here the organization ID, which we have also stored before. So it is in the column D5. Yeah, so this is in the user information. Um, in the user information uh, sheet information and then i can say d5 most probably i have to do it in like this yes it's recognized and that would be it for my path and now i need to have the token which is again in credentials d4 or d2 and the data I want to extract, again the X path for the data. So let's say the ID is the first one. Right, so we enter here just the ID and close brackets. Wait, here we go. Yeah, so this is fine. And from here, what I can do is I can copy this basically and paste it here. And the second one, and the ID will be replaced by name, which is good. Then we have the subscription, uh, subscription, subscription. Here we need to provide something. So first of all, subscription is the first node we want to use here. So you can see, um, where is it? Here, subscription. And then we have the category and the type. So let's say subscription slash type. I copy it again. Let me copy the whole thing. Enter. You can see it's trial. And here I will replace type with category. Then I'll retrieve the category. And now the environments ID, um, which is also simple, I would say. So first of all, we need to navigate where the environments are. So they are here. So this is the environment. And I need to get with zero, I guess I get the first environment, which is then the design environment. So let's say this is the ID. If I enter this, this should be fine. Yeah, so with this, we are good. We can say, okay, get this ID number from the index we have created here. So we will say here we have the A2 and we concatenate it with the remaining. And same, basically, I can use for the rest, which is the name. So here we can say this is the environment ID and name. So probably that's it. And now what I can do here is I can say I would like to have here a dollar because this will stay always the same. This will stay the same, and this will stay the same. So this is fine. I can just drag and drop it here, and do basically this for all the uh, others, and I will continue from here. So let me quickly do it. Okay, so now I've done it, and we are going to do the same now for the environments. And here's something special. We will not do it for A2, because we want this to be flexible. So if I drag and drop, here and continue with the next one. You can see it gets the correct one from the A3 column, yeah, which is good for me, because now I can really use it in a flexible way. So this gets me the right environments from 
my Postman collection pack from the platform APIs. And I guess this is it for the video, the design center projects uh, we are going to cover in the next uh, video, part two of uh, this one. Okay, that was it. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video. Thank you.